Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness, and many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intense immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned. It's returned. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have the Ace of Wands out here in the reverse. There could be some type of blockage, blockage going on in someone's scenario, their situation. You could have had some type of opportunity coming towards you and there could be some type of effort to block this. Or this could be like a union that's supposed to come together. Um, because I see the Ten of Cups out here. There could be a union that's supposed to come together, which is supposed to be really abundant, fruitful, and things of that nature. And there is something that is hindering this union from coming together. This could be a collaboration between two people to manifest some type of business or something of that nature. Or this is just a relationship that is supposed to be flourishing, supposed to be, supposed to be coming together where people are doing things uh, to block this union. Um, there could be like a wealthy man that wants to come towards a feminine energy or a wealthy woman that wants to come towards a masculine energy to give them something, but people don't want this person presenting this offer to this person. So person person people don't want this man or woman presenting this offer to whoever you are so there's a lot of blockages going on behind the scenes people are making it difficult if this is like information you're supposed to receive they're making it extremely difficult for this person to come in your energy but what more so i'm seeing is that this has to do with pentacles so this could have to do with some type of financial offer some type of financial assistance People are interfering with you receiving this financial assistance because they want you stuck uh, in some type of situation. They want to bring you problems, but you're still going to be receiving this offer, this assistance, whatever it is. All right. It will still be received. Okay. But there is an effort. It could also be that maybe this person, yeah, there's, there's a, a interference going on. People don't want you receiving this opportunity, this assistance, this new beginning. They're like, no, okay? They've destroyed some type of new beginning for someone. Like, they've destroyed it, or at least they've tried to destroy it, okay? Someone could also be paying for some type of harm to be done to someone. It said, hey, go and do this to this person, and this is going to come back to bite this person. Yeah, someone is planning something really malicious. It said, this person cannot make it to this destination. Go do this to them. And this is going to lead to this person's ending. Whoever is making the order, order is going to lead to your ending. Okay? This is that you, you're supposed to be somewhere, and someone does not want you arriving to that place. Um, and then... Paying someone to cause you some type of ending, some type of uh, uh, catastrophic event that you're not able to recover from. So someone is trying to manifest this for another energy. It's not going to work. Like someone misuses your money for for useless, useless things. Like someone is really dumb. Really dumb. Okay. Dumb, 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 diddy -di dumb. It's like, hey, I don't want this person... Having this new beginning. I don't want this person arriving at this location. I don't want this person, you know, connecting with this other energy. Yeah, they're paying to have a, an Empress energy out of here. They're trying to destroy an Empress energy. This is a wealthy man that's doing this behind the scenes. He's trying to have an Empress on a life because there's some situation he knows he's not going to win. So now he's getting desperate, right? He's do, he's getting desperate. So he's paying people behind the scenes to unalive an impressed energy because he knows he's not going to win something. Something is not going in his favor. Okay? It could also be that he could be friends with someone and he does not want this friend coming towards this impressed energy. So he's paying a third party 
to come and take care of this Empress energy to take her down. To take her down. Because there's a woman that wants to stay in high honor, but she doesn't deserve to be in high honor. I don't know, because this is someone reckless. She's reckless. She does not want someone else to have what's theirs. I'm telling you, this is not someone wise. Someone was supposed to seek counsel, get some type of uh, advice, or they receive advice, and they didn't take heed to the advice. Whereas you, the Empress, you're still staying focused on the things that you need to stay focused on. Um, right? You're finding like your strength to keep moving forward. You're not hiding anymore. If you're in hermit mode, it's time to come out of hermit mode. Okay? It's time to take action is what you are being told. Take action. But someone knows they're going to lose something. Either this is like a divorce, a court case. They're going to lose it because this Empress's path is clear. They have support. They have support from the universe. They could have some type of guardian angel that is manifest in flesh that's going to be helping them in some way, shape, or form. And someone behind the scene knows that, and they're getting desperate, so they're paying for someone to come and unalive this Empress energy. It said, hey, we didn't know that this was going to happen. There, there was some type of shocking turn of events, some type of huge revelation that has let a masculine know that they are going to be losing something or either someone, they're going to be losing something. It's not going in their favor. Either they stole some type of abundance, some type of inheritance, and they're being told that they're going to have to let it go. So they feel like they have to do something to block block whoever is meant to have that abundance from having it. So they're paying people to do this Empress energy, uh, uh, do them something. I'm telling you, this is a plan. Like they, like they think you're going to not be expecting it. Like if you're trying to go somewhere, they're going to send someone to come do you something. Like they want you to be surprised. Like they wanted to be surprised. I'm telling you, they wanted to be surprising to you. But they're trying to cause you an ending. And this person themselves, they're going through an ending behind the scenes. They're waiting for the right time to take action. The right time, but there will be no right time. Someone does not know that they are in like hot water. They need to move on. They were supposed to move on a long time ago. But someone is so damaged that they don't know how to take wisdom. They don't listen. They're impulsive. They think like they're staying ahead of the game. Like, like, excuse me. Let's say like we're doing, um, uh, I'm I'm doing tarot. Someone is so so much of a narcissist that they're watching different tarot readers to stay ahead of the game, but every action they're taking is just setting them backwards. And they don't realize that. This could be a whole organization, some type of collaboration that's taking all of these actions and they don't know they're sealing their own fate. There's some type of collaboration going on between a group of people, either different companies, different communities, different friends, some type of cult-like mentality has been developed to destroy one energy and they martyr themselves. Things are not going in their favor and they're getting desperate behind the scenes. You may notice people stalking you and things like that. I mean, they've been stalking you for a long time, but it's about to intensify because they want to block you from receiving something. They want to block you from arriving somewhere. They want to block something from moving forward. They've been temper. I'm telling you, they're trying to block you, but you're, you have the authority to move forward you are protected i'm telling you they're not going to succeed literally every action these people are taking is going against them it's going against them this is like you're in a war with your enemy and you think you're being strategic but you're really just setting yourself back like everything you're doing is in favor of your enemy the person you're going up against but you don't know it you don't know it your enemy is, yeah, honey, whoever you are, this Empress energy, justice. They're getting justice. 
And you you are going to be heartbroken about that. Justice. This is this is like you moving in the favor of who you're trying to destroy. So we want to destroy her. So go and do this. And then you go and do that. And it goes in their favor. I'm telling you. It goes in their favor. Someone is not blocked anymore. Someone is not hiding. They never were hiding. I don't think they were ever hiding. Someone is just content. They're focused on what matters to them. Right? But you're coming out of hiding. Too. As they think. You're not really, you were never really in hiding. It's what I keep hearing. But people are thinking that you're coming out of hiding. You're not. This used to be you introspective. The Queen of Cups is very introspective. Just like the Queen of Pentacles. Very introspective. They see things other people don't see. So they're always focused on what it is they're seeing. Compassionate, loving, genuine. But they're a bit of a dreamer. Not even a bit. They're extreme dreamers. So they're always focused on the things that they're dreaming about, thinking about, manifesting, okay? So that's why they always seem like they're in some type of hermit mode, but this person is not, not in hermit. They're coming out, I guess. There's someone that's about to be free from some type of toxic, either marriage, contract, business relationship, you're about to be free from that. You'll be leaving. I'm telling you, you'll be leaving. And you're going to be forming a partnership with a new either entity, person, and it's going to be successful. You're taking your power back. Taking your power back. Literally, your enemies are helping you right now, collective. Your enemies are helping you. Every action they take is helping you. They want you living in anxiety, but you don't. They do. Some of these people are losing sleep, having sleepless night, nights behind the scenes. But when you see them, they're trying to keep a brave face. I'm telling you. <laughs> they're trying to keep a brave face, but they can't. They can't keep a brave face. They're hiding. They've lost a lot. They've lost a lot. They're pretending to be okay, but they're not. They're disappointed. There's a wealthy man that's been doing a lot behind the scenes, and he's disappointed. He's going through some type of disappointment. For some of you, there's a wealthy man that's trying to meet with you, give to you, assist you, and people are blocking it. And he doesn't know what else to do. But he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Yeah. This is someone logical. He'll figure it out. The six of wands, it said victory, success, achievement, advancement in career, significant progress, good news, confidence, respect, validation, not the end. Exactly. Whoever that wealthy man is that's supposed to be assisting you or wants to assist you, He'll find a way. It's someone logical. He knows how to plan. He'll figure it out. So every tactic of the enemy to block you is not going to work. Okay. <laughs> These people are going through endings behind the scenes. And because they're uncomfortable, I'm telling you, you're going through justice. You're going, you're going to have justice. Things are going in your favor. Going in your favor. These people are going through endings behind the scenes. But when you see them in public, they're acting like nothing is wrong, but their eyes are red. So why are your eyes red? It's not even allergy season yet. Whenever that is. Yeah, this is them. Betrayal. They're betraying each other and everything. Why are they trying to end you? Because they know their futures are gloom, doom. These people feel entitled to something. They feel entitled to harassing people behind the scenes, throwing rocks and hiding in their hands, acting like they had nothing to do with certain situations and things like that. All because of money. 
that is a, that is will be brought into this situation. Yeah, they want to keep you bound, stuck, unable to move forward. Trying to keep you stuck in some type of legal issues. Someone, someone want to trap you in something legal. They want to trap you in something legal. Is that oh, so you won't stop moving forward? Okay, we're gonna do this. It's not gonna work. I'm telling you, you'll still find the strength to move forward. You're still going to be moving forward. You're being told to stay calm, keep your mind on positive thoughts, positive things. You're still gonna move forward. You're still going to find the strength to move forward. You're not blocked. You are not blocked. People may be paying the justice system behind the scenes. I'm telling you. They're paying the justice system behind the scenes to make sure things go in their favor. That's, that's, that's not important. The, the most high is going to see you through. That's not important. When your enemies know they don't have a chance to win against you, this is the tactic they use. Bribery. Fraud. Okay? Fraud. That's what they do. When they know they don't stand a chance against you. This is all someone knows how to do. This is all a group of people know how to do is bribe because there's nothing genuine about them. They look in the mirror every day or they see all those demons staring back at them. They don't want to face the truth. That's all of the see. Fraud looking back at them. And then they have to put makeup on and all kinds of stuff to make themselves feel better. Say, so, ah, I've covered the demon up. I can go out another day and pretend to be something I'm not. How do you even feel comfortable living like that? You will be making your arrival. Something will be fixed. <laughs> you will be making your arrival. They've been trying to block this. That we just do this. They won't get to anything. They won't receive anything. And we pay this lawyer. And we pay this judge. That's all they know how to do is bribe people. Say like someone wants to be seen at uh, seen as high honor, but they can't. People see the people see the truth about them. People see the truth about them. All they do is cause illusions. Someone has been practicing someone else's personality. They don't have it quite down yet, is what I just heard. You don't have it down packed yet. Keep trying. Yeah, keep trying. I'm telling you, these people saying they're about to end you is just a new beginning for you. You're going to get good news. It's leading to a new beginning for you. So this wealthy man, this could be someone that is disappointed because he's been trying to reach out to you and people have been blocking it. But he's having some type of new beginning. You and this wealthy man will be having a new beginning. Someone of high honor is interested in working with you. And this is going to come into fruition. You have to cough. This is, this is the full of swords. This is like the coughing card. Okay? This is the coughing card. So you have a new beginning coming for you. And for someone else, behind the scenes, they could be either passing away or something like that. That they're not able to recover. They're not able to recover. They did too much. Yeah. It says disease rating, stuck, exhaustion, no time off, inadequate recovery, restlessness, difficult to relax, spiritual energy healing. 
Someone who's going through a hard time. Someone has been trying to communicate with you and people keep blocking it. And then people keep sending in false offers and they think you're going to accept the false offers. You're not. They said, let's delete this message and then send him a fake one. Hopefully he'll accept this offer, which is set it up to make it look really promising. But you already know. You already know it's a facade. You know it's a facade. There's a wealthy man here going through an ending. He will not be recovering. He will not be recovering. It says someone wants to end you. But they can't. They're going through loss. It's getting worse for them. They've gone from the six of pentacles to the five of cups to the four of swords in the reverse. Meaning they can't recover their finances. Someone is not doing well health wise. And it's not going to get better. Hmm. There's someone's trying to block things from going in the right direction. If things are supposed to go in your favor, they're trying to block that. I'm telling you. But the truth will be exposed. They're trying to block justice, block a union, block some people from receiving their inheritances. All kinds of stuff. They said just block them. Block them, block them, block them. And sources say, no, you're not, you're not really blocking them. We're letting you do that for a reason. We are letting you do that for a reason. Telling you for a reason. Because you're ensuring your own ending. You're about to fall from grace. Whoever this wealthy man is or was behind the scenes, he's not wealthy no more. Or he's not about to be wealthy anymore. Someone was very foolish and reckless with their funds. Someone felt invincible. Say, I have all this money. I have the money, I have the cars, I have the girls, I have everything. I have the connections. I can pay to have you wipe up the face of the earth. And sources are, oh really, really? They wanna have you wipe up the face of the earth so someone else can take your place. And your sources say, nah telling you you are going to have wish fulfillment so as I said nah that's a one of a kind that I made there's no other one like that not in this lifetime or any other lifetime <laughs> so your whoever that is that clown right there will not be taking the place of this one this empress you keep your clown over there you will have wish fulfillment. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> the universe has its hands all up in this. There's a, there's a family or a couple that thought they were going to receive something. And it's been blocked from them. It's been blocked. They cannot receive someone's abundance. Someone's inheritance. This is what this has to do with. It's money and property. Something. A house or something like that. And this couple thought they were going to receive it. This family thought they were going to receive it. They're not. It's going to who it's meant to go to. Okay. There's a woman behind the scene that accepted some type of bribery and then paid someone to cause an empress energy, an ending. There's a lot of hands in the pots. 
a whole lot of hands in the pots. People taking impulsive actions. They tell them, hey, don't do that. They go for it anyway. They say, I'm going to do it. Ending. Ending. You have someone behind the scenes that will be helping you. They're going to be helping bring balance into a situation. You don't know who this is or you're not aware of them right now. But it's going to happen. People may be trying to block this person from coming towards you. Someone was paying to collaborate to cause you an ending. There's a whole lot going on. It's like there are too many people involved and it's too late to take hands out of the pots. It's too late. A lot of people were paid to get involved in something that you have never been involved in. So you can't go now and say, hey, Jean, we don't need you anymore. Well, Jean is invested because Jean could end up getting locked up too. Jean told some lies. Johnny told lies. Billy told lies. So you can't just tell them you can't be involved anymore or we don't need your services from here on out. Uh, yeah, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. People are trying to get you out of character. Take you out of character. Okay? This is the energy they want you in. So that we want them impoverished. We want them out in the streets. We want them homeless. The star card does not show up in the reverse very often, but when it does, it's alarming. They don't want you in this energy in the upright. They're like, we're going to shake you up. We're going to block your finances to block you from moving forward. You're going to be homeless. And you're going to be so desperate that you'll come to us from, for help. And you're looking like, oh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Someone is being exposed as well. There is an institution that's about to be exposed. They act like they're the pillar of the community. But people are about to find out all of the dirt that they are involved in. All of this is divinely orchestrated. This institution is about to be exposed. How greedy they are. How pretentious they are. Exposed. They want you to seem imbalanced, mentally unstable. It's not happening. This is what's happening to them. They're going to be exposed. They act like they help people in the community. But all they really do is steal and block people. They're malicious. They have their hands in everything. And it's all going to be exposed. They've been trying to destroy your work. They're saying what you do does not contribute anything to society, but really what they do does not contribute nothing. They're a facade. They're one thing in the public, but behind the scenes, these are devilish energies. They're stuck. They are stuck. A lot of these people are in a coven they cannot get out of. Coats have a hard time seeing the truth about situations because they feel invincible. We have all this money. We can do whatever we want until the most high step in and say, I don't think so. No. Your money is irrelevant. Your status is irrelevant. Who you know, who you don't know is irrelevant. Okay. Someone does not want Oh, man. Someone does not want you receiving some type of commitment. 
some type of offer. So they've been doing some type of character assassination. Yeah, like this person is not, it's not a healer. This person is not worth you committing to. You're wasting your time. Okay? The whole time is the institution that the person is with. That's a waste of time. Okay? Someone knows the truth. There's a masculine that's in the, in the know now. He knows the truth. And he knows everything these people are doing. It's just facade. They're desperate. They are desperate. Someone is desperate behind the scenes. Someone is desperate behind the scenes. I'm telling you, an institution. Institution. A masculine could have gotten in some type of relationship with, oh my gosh. <laughs> I said relationship with, and then the Queen of Wands comes out. He may have gotten into a relationship with someone he was not never meant to get in a relationship with. And there could be problems. They have a problem because this masculine wants to work with you. I'm telling you, whoever he got in a relationship with is dark as can be. They're a queen of wands, empress, I mean, high priestess. This person is as deceitful as they can be, as anyone can be. Okay? Hmm. And someone that didn't know this when they were getting in a union with this person, they're just not figuring out that, hey, I partner up with the wrong person. I'm telling you, they partner up with the wrong person. And this person is taking actions behind the scenes to cause someone else an ending, but it's not going to happen. This is a narcissist. She feels entitled. She feels that she's better than other people, whoever this other person is. Someone could have been working with a high priestess in the reverse. I'm telling you, they're not happy. Someone is throwing a fit behind the scenes. Someone is not happy because they're not getting their way. They are not getting their way. They say you can scream all you want to. You can cry blood if you want to. They're not getting their way. Okay? They are not getting their way. Right. Because this union is still coming together. I'm telling you. You're still going to receive your news. Whoever you're supposed to work with, you will be working with them. That's why this woman in this institution is unhappy. They may have fixed this woman up to look like the ideal partner for this masculine. Maybe this king of pentacles. And he's not buying it anymore. He said, oh, something's not right. It's a glitch. You're glitching. You're glitching. So I just heard the word confused. Someone may want to tell you that you're confused about a matter. You're not. You're not. It's a, it's a mind game. They want to send someone into you as well to change your perspective, change your mind. It said, what you think it is, it's not what it is. It's 100% exactly what you think it is. It's 100% what you think it is. There are malicious people behind the scenes benefiting out of, off of your downfall, off of you being stuck. And even though you're stuck, you still find the strength to make it through this. Stay in your truth and ensure yourself a new beginning. It's exactly what you think it is. They're sending someone in to cause you an, an illusion because they know you have this coming in. There's good news coming in. I'm telling you, you're moving on. They know you have the upper hand. <laughs> they know you have the upper hand. 
So their, their, their last efforts are to cause illusions even more worse than what they've done in the past. Before, they were doing things from behind the scenes, but now they're going to send someone in to feed you a bunch of BS. They said, honey, I don't know what you think this is, but that's not what it is. We don't know nothing about this institution. We don't even know this institution. Meanwhile, all of them are working together to keep you stuck. They're all working together. This is, this is a collaboration between institutions. And the biggest institution is funding the smaller ones. They, they're paying the smaller institutions to keep you stuck, bring you problems legal issues, all kinds of stuff. It's a collaboration. You have the power, you move forward. Exactly, move forward. I told you, you see things clearly. The two of swords in the reverse, what does it say? Clarity, decisiveness, action, decision, arbitration, poor judgment, wrong choice, correcting mistakes, new rational decisions. You have clarity about the situation. But your enemies made the wrong choice because you're not the one that's been taking action against these people. So they've been making the wrong decisions coming up against you. But you know exactly, you have clarity about what they've been doing. But they want to come in and tell you, hey, honey, it's not what you think it is. Yeah, it is. It's 100% what it is. It's 100% what you think it is collective is a hundred percent you're not confused your enemies are confused is there someone trying to keep you stuck and then you find out they're trying to keep you stuck and you try to leave and then they come and say oh honey we're just trying to keep you stuck because we don't want you to leave us they said well i don't want to be with you i don't want to work for you i don't want to be in a relationship with you I want to move on. Oh, no, 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 no. Just stay with us. We'll figure it out. Meanwhile, they're getting money behind the scenes to block you. They're paying people to block you. All kinds of stuff. This is what's going on. And they want to come in and tell you, you don't have the correct perspective about the matter. You do. You have the right perspective. And these people are living in anxiety behind the scenes, living in fear. Someone is planning some type of malicious actions. Malicious. Mm -hmm. Move forward. I'm telling you, move forward. You are almost there. You have clarity, like crystal clear, 2020 vision, okay? You are crystal clear on what's going on. And you'll have victory if you keep moving forward. Someone wants to come in and call you Dululu. I'm telling you, these people are living in fear. I literally just said that. They're living in fear because you keep moving forward. They've done everything to block you, but you're still moving forward. And they're like, well, what does this person know? Why do they keep moving forward? Why haven't we been able to break them? Because you know the truth. Because the Most High has ordained you to move forward. Someone wants to come in and call you the Lulu. They've been programmed. When I say programmed, they've been mentored on how to lie, how to deceive. And the number one method they use against you is to stay calm when they're lying, when they're deceiving you. They want you to they, they want you to believe that they're not shaking or shooken. But behind the scenes, honey, when you see these people in their homes, they are in the nine of swords. 
shaking, crying, worry, everything. Some of them aren't even eating or washing their behinds because they're so worried about what's coming. And it'll, it'll all be exposed. I'm telling you, move on. They have to move on because you're standing your ground. You're protected. They have to move on. Everybody's going to be moving on. There's clarity in the matter. Someone is being seen for who they are, deceitful, a liar. It could be a high priestess that lies a lot. Someone may have said you were a high priestess in the reverse. There's clarity about you. You're not. Someone could be advocating for you behind the scenes now because they know the truth. They know the truth. They're about to be free from this mess. They say, I can't, I, I can't be with you, around you all anymore. I'm telling you. Every time your enemies plan something, this is what's going on. They say, oh, we can forge this document and say that they owe us this. Hey, we can pay the lawyer, the judge, to make sure things go in our favor so we can lock them up. Justice, balance, judgment, balance. Your ancestors ain't having it. They are not having it. Someone is going to take some type of impulsive action and it's going to lead to them getting locked up. They're going to make some type of quick decision and they're going to be heading right to prison, right to jail. And this is divine interven intervention. Someone, I just heard, someone will get locked up in order for two people to come together. That's for someone specific. It's like as soon as this person gets locked up, your YouTube pathway will be clear. There's a couple that's going to get locked up. There's a couple that's going through an ending. They won't be recovering. This is what they wanted. Again, life is a projection of the energy you put out, right? So this is the energy they've been putting out. They've been telling the universe, hey, we want to be locked up. We want to be trapped in our minds. We want to live in deplority. We want to be trapped. We want to trap ourselves. So the universe is there, oh, really? Okay, well, here you go. How did they ask for that? Because that's the energy they were putting out for you. They were telling the universe, hey, I want to flip this star seed upside down. I want to take them out of balance. I want I want to cause them uh, 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 anxiety, fear, hesitation. I want to destabilize them. And the universe is looking at them like, oh, really? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. That's what you want? Okay, your wish is granted. But they didn't tell them where the energy was coming. Because obviously they don't understand how energy works. If you, someone is not sending you negative energy and you're sending it to them, where do you think it's coming from? It's coming back to, right back to you. So there's a couple that's about to go through an ending. Someone will not be able to benefit off of, your, off of you being blocked or stopped anymore. Someone has been receiving a hefty amount behind the scenes. For some of you, this is a father figure, a boss, a CEO, someone like that. A group of people they say hey we will give you this amount every month every 30 days every 90 days every six months if you can keep this person stuck play mental games with them make them feel like they're important you want to work with them in your company right you're going to give them some type of promotion that's never coming this is what we need you to do and you know that buffoon say yes the buffoonery is buffoonery in and he's about to lose everything. His health, his finances, business, whatever you can think of. About to lose it all. Do not feel sorry for this person. Do not feel sorry for this person. They knew what they were getting into. I'm telling you, do not feel sorry for them. Because this is someone who's a bluff. Immature. Refusing to grow up. Divine intervention. Whatever message you're supposed to receive, you will receive it. Some of you already received the messages.
and the universe interfering is going to be an ending for someone. The universe interfering is an ending for someone. You're going to hit someone, someone where it hurts, where they won't be able to move anymore. They said, we told you to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Someone here, you're going to lose everything just to gain everything. It's what I just saw. Yeah. Lose everything to gain everything. Okay? You're going to lose everything to gain everything. There's a chapter that's over for you or it's about to end for you. You may experience some type of loss, but it's not really a loss. This is new life. New life. You get to start over brand new, fresh. I'm telling you, you get to start over brand new. There's a tower in here for everyone. You get to start over brand new. are taking actions behind the scenes and they don't even know what's going to happen and the tower is right back under there they don't even know what's going to happen but they're still taking actions because someone just refuses to let go someone refuses to lose but they're already lost this is a living in denial denial is a river in egypt someone is in denial and they're about to go through a rude awakening Is that there's something to where you're supposed to be somewhere. And when you are going there, when you take action to go there, someone is going to try to arrest you or something just to prevent you from getting there. This is how malicious these people are. This is how malicious they are. They want to make sure you don't get to your destination. There's going to be divine intervention. This is like you having to arrive somewhere and someone sends a crooked cop to come and arrest you while you're walking. Mind you, you don't even have a record. But they're going to find a reason to come arrest you. But they can't. They cannot. Because you didn't do anything. It's like, how do you get arrested for walking? I don't even have a license plate. What did you run? My behind? Did you run my behind and the scanner said, oh, convict, convict. Drug dealer, drug dealer. Let me know what you did. This is a plan. As soon as someone takes action to get somewhere or to go somewhere, they're going to send someone corrupt to come pick them up. Hey, is your name Maria? We have a warrant for your arrest. And they say, for what? Maria don't smoke. Maria don't drink. Maria don't go out. Maria don't have friends. Maria don't do nothing. Maria be in her house all day. <laughs> so what are you arresting Maria for? Not going to make no sense. And they're going to be disappointed because this is not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm telling you, it's not going to work. You're going to arrive at your destination. You are going to arrive at your destination. Some of you, your enemies are trying to destabilize you where you can't move. It's that we're blocking you. You can't go there. You can't go there. You can't go there. 
If you go there, we're there. we are there. Wherever you go, we'll be there. They want you to feel uneasy. You don't. I've been through this situation before when it initially started, honey. I said, what in the world? I've never been through this mess before. I, honey, I was shook it when it initially started. Within three to six months, I said, oh, so this is how these people behave. It's so pathetic. Poor thing, bless your heart. You're this damaged that you think playing these little games has some type of reward or is going to give you something. You're so pathetic. Tower. This tower don't want to leave this bottom. It's a tower for your enemies. A fall from grace. Everything will be exposed about this institution. There's an institution going through an ending. They are trying to desperately hold on to some type of facade they've been feeding the public for a long time. It's an ending. It's an ending. And they know it. There's a case that's about to end an institution. It'll be like, oh, so that's what you all do behind the scenes? We thought you were the pillar of the communities. We thought you all were in the upright. We see you all donating. Yeah, they donate because they can get that back in their taxes. Some of these institutions, you go to work for them, they have some of the worst employees, but they don't fire them. Why? Because 8850, they get money back for those employees. So they don't care what the employees are doing. I've worked for an institution like that before. They didn't care. Employees will leave, go leave, go home and sleep, come back. No termination. Employees took what? Six, seven, eight breaks a day? Nothing. Stealing at work, forging signatures, nothing. Uh, 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 doing weird stuff to residents, nothing. Nothing. Supervisors sleeping with employees, nothing. Like, they just don't give a damn. And all of that is going to be exposed about these institutions. All the bribery, the greed, the wickedness, the cult like mentality. Everything is going to be expo exposed. Exposed. Sometimes people, the public, when they see these characters on the screen and they see them smiling, they're well made up, they have their best outfit on of the day, of the week, of the month. You know, they have a lot of best outfits because they're greedy, so they steal money and things like that just to go shop so they can look their best when they're selling their representative, their image. That they want everyone to believe. So you see them on TV, they're smiling, looking their best, makeup on makeup on point, hair on point, style on point, but they are greedy as can be, wicked as can be behind the scenes. These people are gonna be disappointed. I said something about law official and what? The King of Swords shows up. The King of Cups, these are people that are like in the justice system, police officers, FBI, DEAs, right? Someone is upset, heartbroken, that maybe someone like this does not want to work with them anymore. He has clarity. He has clarity about a situation, I'm telling you. Or maybe he's the one that's corrupt. Be mindful. When you're going somewhere, they're going to send a character to give you a ride. If you get in that car, you won't be seen anymore. If you get in that car, you won't be seen anymore. Do not get in that car. 
You may have two people coming towards you. I'm telling you, you won't be seen anymore. You will not be seen anymore. They're sending someone to end you. This is like you walking somewhere and this person pulls up and they're like, hey, I can take you to your, your location. I can take you to where you're going. Tell them no. If they keep insisting, you better start running because that person was sent to capture you. Because when you make it to your destination, it's a loss. Your enemies lose. I was saying before, you may have two people coming in towards you. Some of you, just, most of you be careful, not some, be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Someone's upset because of King of Swords. He may be trying to free himself from this toxic group, toxic relationship, whatever this is. Someone knows this man may have feelings for you or wants to work with you, and he's putting a dead end to this situation with them. He's leaving this karmic situation. Okay? He's leaving. Some of you, this person just don't know how to let go. Some of these people, they don't know how to let go. Someone wants to keep dragging something out. They may want to come in and cause you some type of illusion, false love offer. Hey, now I know we're soul twins. You need a ride? No, I don't need a ride from you. Someone is unhealed, but may want to come in and pretend to be healed. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Okay? Someone just does not want to let go. Someone does not know how to let go. They want to keep dragging something out. Someone does not want something to end. They're toxic as heck. So be vigilant. When they come across you, come around you, trying to give you a ride, trying to give you a helping hand, Honey, be, be cautious. I'm telling you, trying to give you a helping, helping hand, stand your ground. Ask them questions. Why are you trying to help me? You were trying to unalive me before. Illusions. This offer they're giving you is an illusion. This is a king of swords that's refusing to let go, put an end to something, so he's dragging it out. People may not know he's still indulging in some criminal activities behind the scenes. He's dragging it out. He doesn't want something to end. Someone may be watching you illegally and they feel entitled to watching you. Someone may be invading your privacy and they feel entitled to doing it. So they're still doing it, even though they've been told not to do it anymore. The rest of the Colts and Colvin members are walking away. They told him don't do it anymore, and he's still doing it. Someone is still doing it. They're carrying on. They don't want something to end. And they're about to experience an ending. I'm telling you, this person is immature. Whatever offer they're giving you is not a genuine offer. This is immaturity. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is an immature character. Unstable, not solid, not disciplined, non-committal, a gaslighter. Any type of offer they're giving you, there's an ulterior motive to it. There's an ulterior motive to it. Ulterior motive. You have people going up against you. They're expecting you to be down and out. But you're showing a bright, showing a bright eye, bushy tail every day. And it's disturbing them. They're like, why is this person still calm? Why is this person still calm? Tower, I'm telling you. This message here is revealing these people. This person is exposing them. It's a tower. This person is coming in to wreak havoc in your life. 
and your ancestors are wreaking havoc in their lives. It's a tower. It's a tower. There's no way out. Someone is freeing themselves from an institution. It's extremely difficult. I don't know why I'm being told to tell someone it's a forged, it's a fraudulent contract. I don't know if you're in a contract with in an institution, a marriage or something, but it's a fraudulent contract is what I'm being told to tell you. Look into it. I don't know if it's a marriage. Someone is doing something fraudulent. Source, what is your advice to us? I guess sources say, you're not speaking to me today. You didn't even ask me. I said, okay, I'll see it. I'll see it. Okay, two, 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 six, which has to do with healing, recovery, putting in effort, determination. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced, okay? We have eight, 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 24, which is another six, okay? Six, six, 12, three. Oh, okay. It's a lot of healing energy that's going on, needing to go on. Recovery, balance, right? Elevation, ascension. Someone is going through an ascension. Someone is going through healing, an awakening. Oh, okay. Okay. As I said, I see this here. So you have someone here that was going to take action to trap you, divine intervention. Someone was gonna come in, gaslight you with an immature offer, divine intervention. So there's always some type of intervention. You are well protected. You are protected. And again, someone was gonna take, someone thought they had the power in a situation. They thought they had the upper hand. They're disappointed. I'm telling you, there's always divine intervention going on, always. Someone thought they were going to hide something exposed. Exposed. It's like there's no way out for your enemies. No way out. Someone took action. They thought they were going to be victorious. So they, they kept causing blockages and they blocked themselves. They're, they're trapped. They've trapped themselves. Now they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Someone said they were going to be victorious. They trapped themselves. They don't know what to do. And someone is being exposed. They're living in fear for some type of decision to, they made to cause someone instability and they're being exposed. Someone just does, someone does not want to move on, but they have to. They have to. Mm. Okay, let's get back to this six, another six. As you're as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and create a place for abundance. I am abundant, absolutely, and you have abundance coming in. Anyways, that people have been trying to block you from receiving. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.